Hi, I'm Carol Andrews for another episode of Southwest TV News. Here's some of the stories coming up on today's show. As the Cypress Health Region works towards a consistent staffing regime of internal medicine specialists, one of its physicians has now given his resignation notice. Another Saskatchewan summer season is here, a time everyone looks forward to with longer daylight hours and a chance to enjoy an array of outdoor activities. However, thrown into the mix is the occasional storm. The 2013 Farm Progress show in Regina was a major draw for producers and business leaders in the ag industry. And one of the major highlights of the event involved a local John Deere dealer. 100 years is an accomplishment for any entrepreneur in this day and age. And W.W. Smith Insurance and Swift Current marked its centennial with an open house at Market Square. Thanks for joining us here today. Attracting and retaining medical staff continues to be an issue across rural Saskatchewan, as the Cypress Health Region has now lost a medical specialist. As the Cypress Health Region works towards a consistent staffing regime of internal medicine specialists, one of its physicians has now given his resignation notice. Dr. Tegbato gave his resignation to the Health Region at a meeting on June 18th. And according to his announcement, he was to leave the Southwest at the end of July. However, as of production time of this story, his last day of employment for the health region has now been bumped up to the end of June, all at Dr. Tekboto's request. Overall developments which have taken the Cypress Health region by surprise, as management has been trying to alleviate a number of issues over the past several months. I think hours of work and call was one of the main issues. Also, he's a, a fully qualified and certified nephrologist host, so he always wanted to, to take part in the nephrology unit and in the dialysis program. We feel that we have uh, acted in good faith at each and every step of the process. Uh, after February, when we uh, when he tendered his uh, resignation initially, uh, we engaged into an honest conversation with a group of, in of internal medicine specialists and we asked them to come up with a proposal um, what would work from their point of view in terms of providing coverage at the hospital. They came with a really good proposal that uh, would allow us uh, until the end of this year uh, to start looking and uh, fill our uh, vacant uh, positions. We supported the proposal that came from them. We put the financial resources in place in order to be able to support that, and we thought that we were on the right track. At the same time, we also engaged uh, with the ministry officials, ministry of health officials, uh, in order to see can we expand our renal program and uh, can Dr. Tigbodo play a part of that. Despite the latest hurdle, the Cypress Regional Hospital in Swift Current will maintain two internal medicine specialists, with Dr. Sirwada and Dr. Kanji, along with locum support over the summer with the following effect on patients. In terms of the dialysis program, the, the residents will not feel any um, negative effects as a result of that. The dialysis program is still run uh, by the home unit in Regina. In fact, uh, the expansion to six days a week, uh, which will start soon, will benefit our residents uh, tremendously. In terms of uh, coverage for internal medicine specialists at the hospital, there's going to be some problems, uh, as I stated, uh, because we made provisions uh, to, to have a call coverage until the end of July. Now Dr. Tigbodo said that his last day is going to be end of June, so there's going to be some gaps in coverage. We'll try to get uh, locums, and we're also interviewing internal medicine specialists to, to fill out you know, uh, vacant, uh, well, three positions. Our plan has always been to have four full-time internal medicine specialists. Exact details of Dr. Tigbodo's resignation have not been released. Earlier this year, a Facebook group was started to encourage Dr. Tugbato to stay in Swift Currents. According to the health region, he had been employed in the Southwest for approximately three years. Southwest TV News is hitting the road with our annual Summer Around the Southwest Tour, covering a variety of exciting events across the region. The Southwest TV News Summer Around the Southwest Tour is proudly brought to you by Innovation Credit Union. Imagine the possibilities. Another exciting season of Market Square returns to downtown Swift Current, featuring live entertainment, fresh garden produce, crafts, and other unique vendors. Market Square, every Saturday at the corner of Central and Chaplin. Presented by State.
Standard Motors, in partnership with Innovation Credit Union and Southwest TV News. Plan to attend the 6th Annual Mortlach Saskatoon Berry Festival. Enjoy delicious Saskatoon berry pie and other delicacies. Meet local artisans and enjoy an array of entertainment for the whole family. Including the pancake breakfast starting at 8 a.m., followed by the parade at 11. Enjoy live music and dancing until midnight. The Mortlach Saskatoon Berry Festival. 4,000 people with purple teeth can't be wrong. Another summer season is here and so is the potential for summer storms. In this story, we take a closer look at the difference between watches and warnings. Another Saskatchewan summer season is here, a time everyone looks forward to with longer daylight hours and a chance to enjoy an array of outdoor activities. However, thrown into the mix is the occasional storm. Each year, Saskatchewan can experience upwards of 80 to 90 summer storms. According to Environment Canada, 2012 was a summer for the record books in the province, with 60% more severe weather than normal, which included 33 tornadoes. And although it's difficult to predict how intense the summer of 2013 will be, Environment Canada will be standing by, ready to issue the appropriate watches and warnings. It usually begins with a weather statement, which is, uh, hey, be mindful of the fact there could be some active weather coming. A watch is almost like look up, and then a warning is look out. Uh, and, uh, and, and really, when you get to the warning stage, we've, we've really brought it down to a community or a county or a or a small area of the province, a, a re regional municipality area, and, um, and then it should only be seeking shelter on that. And a little jingle that we have that I think makes good sense on the prairies is, uh, uh, when thunder roars, head indoors. When storm watches turn into warnings, this is the time to seek shelter from the storm, indoors, away from windows, or in the basement. And if you're outdoors when a tornado or plow winds strike, Get out of your vehicle and take cover in a ditch or ravine while covering your head and neck from any flying debris. Warm weather uh, can kill people. I mean, we get about a dozen people a year in Canada die from lightning strikes and, and, um, and, and several from, from other rainfall, flooding events or, or tornadic events or, or hurricanes, what have you. never have to worry about hurricanes on the prairies. But certainly thunderstorms and lightning strikes can, can clearly be, um, uh, be an issue. The Environment Canada forecast for the summer months across Saskatchewan is calling for warmer than normal temperatures with below to average rainfall. One lucky JD Ag Tech customer is now $50,000 richer. We have more in this report. The 2013 Farm Progress Show in Regina was a major draw for producers and business leaders in the ag industry. And one of the major highlights of the event involved a local John Deere dealer. For the second year in a row, JD Ag Tech has given away $50,000 to one of its lucky customers. With the assistance of the accounting firm of Myers Norris Penny, the winning entry was selected and awarded to Murray Ward in the Swift Current area. I figured I'd probably be the first one out, probably, you know. Um, just to get that close is, is probably figured that's as close as I was going to get. So, I mean, each name came out and then uh, you still thought, well, I'll be the next one probably, you know, so it's just incredible. We certainly could, could use it in, in, in the firm, but uh, we'll, we'll have to do something special with it for sure. The JD Ag Tech promotion involved the sale of select used equipment at all of its nine stores across Saskatchewan this spring. And it's become a much anticipated event. You know, used equipment is a, an important part of our business, right? Uh, when that pipeline slows down, then uh, it's tough for us to do the new side, of course, too, right? So uh, out of that, we decided that uh, we would take uh, 125 uh, purchases, uh, assign uh, customers' names to those slots. Uh, uh, once it sold out, that was, uh, that was the, uh, the most that we would have, right? So your odds were 100, 1 in 125 of winning $50,000 in the draw. J.D. Agtech's $50,000 cash giveaway is the largest promotion of its kind for any farm equipment dealer in North America. W.W. Smith Insurance has reached a milestone as it celebrates its centennial. Having served Southwest Saskatchewan for the past 100 years, W.W. Smith Insurance is your motor license issuer 
while specializing in all of your personal and commercial needs, including home, auto, agro, business, and life insurance. W.W. Smith Insurance, independently owned and operated since 1913. Plan to attend the 6th Annual Mortlach Saskatoon Berry Festival. Enjoy delicious Saskatoon Berry pie and other delicacies. Meet local artisans and enjoy an array of entertainment for the whole family. Including the pancake breakfast starting at 8 a.m., followed by the parade at 11. Enjoy live music and dancing until midnight. The Mortlach Saskatoon Berry Festival. 4,000 people with purple teeth can't be wrong. Our company helps tell your story and provides you with a solution on how to market your business. Because making a great video is only half the equation. You have to know how to use it. We have done a major... This construction site is just one example of risks being taken by entrepreneurs in order to follow their dreams. Noy Lim is an entrepreneur in southwest Saskatchewan turning his ideas into a reality. Lim saw an opportunity in the town of Maple Creek and with the help of his wife, friends and business partners decided to restore the historic commercial hotel. With a project totaling close to one million dollars, there's a lot on the line to make this project a reality. Lim explains what attracted him to this opportunity. Well, actually, when we ran the uh, restaurant in this building in 2009 and 10, I saw that the building has a huge potential if it is brought to its former you know, glory, like you know, uh, how it looks like before. So uh, I told myself and some of my friends, like, given an opportunity, if we could get this building, you know, uh, give justice to its being old, uh, it's a good business to run. In the town of Maple Creek, heritage and staying true to one's roots is an important aspect of the community. The historic nature of this town gives it a unique feeling while you're there. With the commercial hotel being one of the oldest and largest in the community, Lim strongly believes it's the town's greatest treasure. Renovations are being made to almost every aspect of the building, with the inspiration coming from the Grand Union Hotel in Montana. These changes will give the hotel a Western Victorian theme, reflecting the history of the town. And having over 25 years of experience in the hospitality industry, making the transition to a business owner was a simple one for Lim. You get the uh, freedom from being, you know, an employee. So you're limited when you're an employee. But, you know, you take more responsibilities when you're already an entrepreneur. But you create jobs. You get 100% um, freedom with your imagination, without, you know, without saying you can't do that because you're already the one running it. Over the months, the original business plan has changed. And due to popular demand from local residents, Lim has decided to open the restaurant and dining room before completing the renovations to the third floor. He further adds a project was made possible through Community Futures Southwest, who has stood behind him since he first pitched the business plan. Community Future was one of the uh, people behind how this became possible. Uh, without their help, I think uh, we won't be, you know, having this project. They found that the project is um, doable, feasible, and very important to the town, and they said, we're in. Thanks to Community Future Southwest, success stories such as the commercial hotel are becoming more common across the region. Community Future Southwest helps business owners with financing and business training, making dreams become a reality. Contact their office today.
Swift Current Business is celebrating its centennial this year and marked the occasion with a special open house. 100 years is an accomplishment for any entrepreneur in this day and age. And W.W. Smith Insurance and Swift Current marked its centennial with an open house at Market Square. Clients and other community partners lined up for a hearty lunch served up by W.W. Smith staff and a variety of United Way agency members. Gord Smith, whose grandfather started the business 100 years ago, was pleased with the overall turnout and unveiled the news that his son Will is set to join the team this year. And he'll be starting work in the fall and uh, he'll be the fourth generation and my dad is is quite pleased and we didn't think it would ever happen but uh, we're excited to have him on board. A move which brings a range of emotion for Will Smith as he embarks on a new insurance career. There's a lot of pressure there but uh, you know I, I feel like uh, I can do a really good job here and I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to being part of the community. And as W.W. Smith Insurance looks ahead to the next 100 years, Gord Smith states their longevity surrounds one key factor. I can't say enough about our staff that we've had through the years and uh, they're, uh, we make it a fun place to work and go along with the, uh, the newest business models and uh, technology and we keep up on, on all of that. and. Uh, here our doors are still open after 100 years. The company's roots began in 1913 when William Wensley Smith began selling insurance and real estate. The business evolved over the years to the present day W.W. Smith Insurance and Travel in the heart of downtown Swift Current. Well, this brings to a close another episode of Southwest TV News, reporting the stories that matter to you. We always welcome your news tips. You can always reach us here by phone at our studio or by email to contact us at southwesttvnews.com. Also be sure to join us daily online for the latest news from across Southwest Saskatchewan and so much more at mylocaltv.ca. And be sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Pinterest. Thanks for joining us here today. I'm Carol Andrews.